because you don't not only do um, ketogenic diet, but also intermittent fasting, which mm-hmm. is not necessarily so. I think ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting are best friends, but do not necessarily have yeah. to go together. Uh, how do you then uh, um, plan your meals and intermittent mm-hmm. fasting with the workout? So how does it work in, in a week? So out of a habit and it's like a reward, I'll have my protein shake after my workout. I know I don't really need that. I like um, Mark Sisson was like, yeah, you don't need to refill your glycogen after your workout. It's going to happen throughout the day. Like as long as you have carbohydrates on a normal diet. And for me, it's like, well, then why am I eating right after a workout? If it's for the glycogen window, for me, I just time it where I didn't eat a ton of protein before. And so I can, have that 25 grams of protein afterwards um it's a habit i had to, i maybe i'm wrong here that i just still need to eat it right after i don't know it's just been what i'm doing then i'll set my timer to, um so i don't eat within two and a half hours if i'm trying to build mass so i have a high protein intake um carbohydrates i try and do higher in the middle of the day but that's also when i'm working so typically um I'll come home and have a big salad with that with some protein in there. Um, And then also if I've had a big workout or like tonight, I'm going to go play volleyball for two and a half hours. There's also been some research that you have another protein synthesis window first thing in the morning when you eat. So even if I'm not hungry, I will almost always have some protein first thing in the morning. So you don't do not see um, decreases in gains or strengths or muscles? No. No. no, that's that's ridiculous. Yes. Like some of the some of the strength gains that people will make will last like thirty five to forty days, I think is what some of the research was saying. It's not it's not we're not so fragile that one, we can't survive off of no food for twenty four hours. Also that we're gonna be so weak that like we couldn't do anything. Like, off of evolutionary biology, that makes absolutely no sense. So back to working out and fasting, um, it's all worked pretty good for me. Like, I don't mind. I, I like working out in the beginning of the fast, at the end of the fast, in the middle of the fast. It's all been been fine. It really just depends on like my energy output of that day and how tired I may or may not be. If I'm tired and mentally fatigued, that that dictates the workout more than the fast or the nutrition the 24-hour thing is something i started to do once a week and the main thing that i really liked about that is it was teaching me between physical hunger and starvation versus mental habitual hunger um where like i need to eat like do you really need to eat you know you just had a giant salad and then like that's been a lifelong lesson for me. Uh, I try and fast once a week at the very least. And then one about once every month, month and a half, I'll do an extended 24 hour fast. So at least 40 foot, 48 hours, try to send, do it to 72. And then next time I'll probably go four or five days. I try to trust my intuition enough. It's like, I'm getting moody and the life around me is starting to fall apart. My girlfriend gets angry. Like, yeah. <laughs> these yeah. are all good signs. I need to eat. Yes. I need to eat. 